good morning student the next topic is clocked cmos logic in the last class we discussed dynamic cmos logic the next one is clocked cmos logic in this logic we are implemented in both nmos and pmos we are consider both nmos nmos and pmos nmos and pmos in that pull up we consider p block so this is a p block in the pull up we are considering p block and in pull down and this is a n block and uh, see here so this is the two input nor gate okay here i am designing two input nor gate so if it is a nor gate means what is the expression the expression you will get it here what is the expression you will get it here a plus b whole bar a plus b whole bar suppose so you know in the plus comes what is the circuit you have to design in the pmos how you have to design in the pmos if plus comes it should be in series okay the pmos should be in series and n mod should be in parallel okay you know this concept okay and here in this uh, the pull up is the pull up is a p block and the pull down is a n block respectively as shown in this figure okay along with this additional transistor is using that is see these two transistor is a additional transistor this is a pi and pi bar okay in the nmos we considering the clock signal is pi and in pmos it is a pi bar okay how it will be work suppose if it is a pi is zero okay if it is a pi is zero so then the then the transistor is off from either p to n network p or n network is not connected to the output means the output is in remains in the previous state okay remains in the previous state it is in off state okay when the pi is 1 okay when it is 1 please remember when it is 1 both the transistor are on okay and the logic of the input will, will be evaluated okay this will be evaluated during the period of whenever the clock is high okay this is the working of the clocked cmos logic so this is also called as c square mos because here clock c is there and c uh, mos is there no that's why they also called as c square mos logic okay with the additional transistor so we are just uh, here the transistor is added no so with the additional transistor the area is increases in the area is increases if additional transistor is causes that means area is increases the output will be rise time and the fall time is also increase and the, what is the final result it will be the delays more okay and this is the simplified circuit inverter circuit okay so this is the two input nor gate and this is the inverter circuit you know no, in, in inverter circuit we are just connecting one pmos and so what is that one nmos and one pmos pull up and pull down and connected with input and this is a as usually we have to take a additional two transistor so this is an n transistor and p transistor so pi and pi bar so the output is complemented output we will get it here okay so the next is so this is the clocked cmos logic okay and the next is cmos domino okay the circuit is this one cmos domino logic the problem so uh, we observed in the dynamic logic what is the problem we were faced in the dynamic logic is the cascading problem so when you cascading uh, can be overcome by using an inverter between each stage okay see here this is same as a dynamic cmos logic okay so what is that here in the pmos and here in the nmos and connected with the uh, so both are shorted and give it a single Uh, clock okay here you are using single phase clock single clock and uh, here we are considering only evaluation evaluation 
part that is an end block okay so this is a circuit we just added one a buffer inverter so this is a static buffer inverter okay so this is static this is called a static buffer or a static inverter we can call it okay so it is an extension of the dynamic cmos logic okay in the dynamic cmos logic so we just considering pmos and nmos both are shorted and give it to a single phase isn't it this pmos and nmos is shorted and give it to a single same circuit we just added one inverter circuit okay and uh, one example is there so see here so here i'm considering and gate what is the expression for the and is a dot b isn't it so here i am considering pmos in the pull up and in the pull down is nmos and short it together and give it to a single phase input so here the in in block we have to we have to design the a dot b okay so in a dot b if dot comes in n block what is the what we have to do in n block we have to connect it in series so that's why in a, if the dot comes if the dot comes in n mos we have to connect it series a and b these are the input and the output i got a dot b okay so this is the output in the okay so the next is and uh, you just try for the or gate and send it to me okay the same circuit you just try for the or gate and send it to me okay so in this some of the advantages is there that is the structures uh, here the structures here the structures can have a small area okay than the conventional cmos logic okay the structures have a small area than the conventional cmos logic and also the capacitor that is the parasitic capacitors no are smaller so the higher uh, operating speed can be obtained these are the operations is free from the glit so glits means um, it's an uh, uh, error so that means error free operation we can uh, get it only in 1 to 0 transition is made so and also non inverting structures are possible because of a presence of inverter buffer okay and the final is the charge distribution may be a problem here also a charge distributions may be a problems and must be considered okay so these are the what is this domino cmos domino logic see why we have to connected uh, why we are calling uh, domino you know as the output of one stage is dependent on the output of the previous stage so i already told the output is depend on the previous stage and this is similar to a domino effect so and the configuration from rail to rail means uh, one transistor is uh, the output is pre uh, the depends on the previous stage of the in previous stage of the input so the configuration is called a domino logic okay and the next is so the last topic of this one is that is an np that is an np cmos logic okay in np cmos logic look at the structure okay so the first one is same like a cmos domino logic okay pmos and nmos and n block and we are giving a pi and the next is p block in the p block they considering pmos and p block with a pull up and the n mos and again the n block okay so this is an another variation of the dynamic logic okay this is an another variation of the dynamic logic in np cmos logic np means n transistor and p transistor will occur alternately okay so in this logic is modifications of the domino logic where here we are using p block and n block alternately see here so this is the n block will occur first and then will give to the p block if n block occurs means which state this is an evaluation evaluate state and if p blocks comes this is a pre charge so complement it is a pre charge and uh, without complement this one is evaluate it will be alternately it will be occur okay 
so this is the so this is the uh, so other form of the cmos logics okay thank you